Parker went for the e-break. <laughs> wow. Nice move. Right, got the ball. Oh, got the ball. ball. Wow. Uh, well, I guess it's pretty slippery. <laughs> That's something you don't see every day. The, the pace car has gone a lap down, guys. <laughs> That's bad. Watch what happens here, Steve. This was earlier with Sebastian Bourdais. Oops. There goes that lovely crystal trophy. Watch this face. Oh. I've just had the best day oh. in a long time, and now that happened. Well, you should just take Dario's. <laughs> Poor guy. At least he's got a good spirit. That's what's left of Sebastian Bourdais' uh, second place trophy. And Harvey's right behind, Harvey's attacking Clellan, there's Harvey, there's Clellan. So Clellan has stayed ahead, but Soper is ahead of the Vauxhall. So John Clellan is sandwiched between the two BMWs, I'm going for first, says John Clellan. But he's got to pass a lot of people, including the battered BMW of Steve Soper, they go round Abbey. Engsler across the line, or is it Menu that leads? It's Engsler still. Menu in second place. Third is Portero. Oh, and the safety car! Engsler blindsided around the blind corner, hits the safety car. Menu stops. Everybody coming in at full speed behind him. Frank Engsler is on the right hand side of the picture, so he hit it with the passenger side. Red flags will have to come out now. Sergio Hernandez with damage, the uh, damaged rear end of his car has set the bodywork alight. Boardman's car there as well at the exit of Foch, they're going to have to drag those out of the way, but the real drama, Engsler in the back of the safety car, safety car stationary almost in the middle of the road, Engsler's team, well here he is, look he's doing 185 kilometres now, the safety car doing what, 40, and uh, I'm certainly hoping that everybody inside the safety car is okay, that was a big, big impact. Welcome back live to Daytona, just in time for our sixth full course caution of the race. And there is the reason why the 51, oh, wow. not sure if this problem suffered by the Aston Martin, the 007 GTD car is related. I bet it was. Serious bet. right front damage. I got a feeling one of my have got looped and they hit each other. Let's ride with Brandon Davis and see what happened. This is into that corner. Oh, there you oh, go. Oh, the oh, man. Oh. So the 81 and the 51 had obviously got into it, and the 51 just 
drilled right into the side of Brandon Davis. That's unbelievable. We saw that several times last year. So here we see it. The 81 and the 51, I think, must have got together. Watch this. It's, it's like Perotto never looked to his left into oncoming traffic. Started by Manuel Rodriguez and Jimmy Bruni. Here we come. The yellow flag still there. Watch for the red lights going out. And we go to green and we're racing. Fantastic start from the second row. But he can't overtake before the, the line. And he remembers that that is Just the case. time. Matthias Beck, and there's also shunt in the background. It's the GTV oh. field that's been hit. I can see one of oh. the Farnbacher cars there. Yeah. No, the Feldenmayer car there. Farn Feldenmayer sideways on, halfway down the straight, being pushed and pushed and pushed by what looked like the Pro Speed car behind. Oh, and what's happened is that the, uh, the the pace cars come straight back out again, has it? In front of the field, or did it not pull off? How did it beat the field down through the pit lane? But it's already at the head of the field. Now that's quite that's extraordinary. Bizarre. Quite bizarre. Not maybe that's clearly not a start, but we can okay, see so that. that's the 77 car. That's the that's the one that Farnbacker that uh, Feldman and I were counting on for big points this weekend. Oh, Ooh, that is a idea. very messy. messy start indeed. Now we certainly saw the lights go to green. So ah, the pace car hasn't got off the track. The pace car's not off the track and they've showed the green light. Good that grief. is absolutely disastrous. Absolutely disastrous. The pace car, I didn't see the fact that the field had pulled, uh, dropped behind the Audi pace car and what we had there was the safety car driver not retiring to the pit lane and the green lights going. Fortunately, the front rows had seen that. That is the most extraordinary thing that I've ever seen at a motor race. We've got Damaged Porsches all over the place. That's the lights went to green, Graham, but yes, yes. we still had the Audi leading the field. Let's have a look at this from earlier on in the day because Formula Ford, it's an historic day for them, the final round of what has been the Australian Championship. Oh. This is Simon Hodge launching, ripping every corner out of that car. He was okay. Luckily, the car didn't get up into the fence.